it is the next day here. We got the wife's new 07 here. Quick little update for you. It is legitimately your last 48 hours, possibly actually the last 24 hours when you see this, to get entered to win this beautiful first gen 12 out Cummins that comes with $5,000 in cash. It ends Sunday night. And also only from March 15th until Sunday, March 19th, which when you see this again, should be in less than two days from now. You'll also be getting entered to win the Rosine 24V here which also comes with $5,000 in cash. So if you want dual entries towards this giveaway truck and the other one, only until Sunday to get entered for both at the same time. With a 30 times entry bonus, and also if you check the emails from us, you probably got an additional bonus in there as well, as a thank you for checking those emails. And yes, we have been steadily adding to our firewood collection here. We've got all of this cherry with a few little pieces of oak mixed in there. And then we've got almost three ricks of wood over here now it might look kind of small because i got my camera in half zoom this is what it looks like a normal zoom a little bit more lifelike size i guess we'll go back to half zoom but pretty uh pretty pleased with the amount of wood we've been able to pull out of this place because we really don't have that much timber and everything that i've been pulling out and cutting up has all been down stuff we haven't been cutting down anything only cutting up trees that have already been down or dead laying on the ground for a while. Most of this has actually come from like crowns of trees um, from, I don't know if it's from old logging four or five years ago or what, but we've luckily not had to cut anything down. This is all from already already down timber, just making use of it. And um, I, just, I just like doing it. We don't even really need that much firewood, but it's just so much fun. And I am still, Super pleased with this. I still have not had any issues with it at all. Every single piece of wood I've thrown on there to split, it is just blown right through it. Couldn't be happier. And the small fleet of work machines has still been serving me well. I did actually find a buyer for this mower, which is super cool. I was honestly so torn on keeping it because I'm like, man, a 60 inch mower, that would be super nice. But then again, my, my only dilemma was, I'm not even the one that does most of the mowing around here. I'm gonna be hiring actually you know, my cousin Ty, who has been working for us now for almost a full year, his brother's actually gonna be starting to work for us this spring. And he's 13 years old. And I told him he could have a mowing and trimming job here once a week, come do all of our mowing and trimming. And honestly, if I have to choose between a 13 year old kid running a 54 inch mower that is worth like two or 3,000 bucks or a 60 inch diesel mower that's worth six to $8,000, I'd rather him just run this one. A it's never given us any issues. It's a super reliable little Toro. It is filthy dirty from sitting. Quite honestly, I don't really wanna to have to see a nicer mower getting beat around. And in all honesty, since I'm using my own equipment to have the lawn care done, I'd rather it be a cheaper, more affordable piece of equipment, especially since I'm not doing the mowing. Um, if that changes, then maybe I'll upgrade again. But in the same sense, I also now have this tractor with the 60 inch mower as well. So if I actually am in a dire need of needing a bigger mower, I also have this small diesel tractor with a 60 inch mower. So I, I, I just, yeah, I just don't really need to have the nice Kubota. As nice as that thing is, I'm sure it'd be a blast to mow with that thing because it's super torquey and has tons of power. Between this and that, we should be good. And now in terms of the wife's truck, we did discuss some things last night in terms of a direction to go with this. And although it's not completely finalized, um, she's wanting this thing to stay for the most part, pretty, pretty simple overall. Like I think she's gonna plan on sticking with the fourth gen Laramie stocks for a little while and just roll in like a nice 33 by 1250 or 35 by 1250 on this wheel setup. And honestly, I think we could go either direction, but the truck does appear to have a leveling coil. I know it's got Fox shocks and I'm not, not for sure, but in my opinion, it looks like it might have a leveling coil on it to give it a little bit of front lift because it definitely, I mean, you could figure it out pretty easy on level ground with a tape measure measuring from the ground at the top of the fender. Biter might not have a front lift. I don't know, like front level, but um, if it's not, probably 33s if it is maybe 35s you know just keep it on the stocks no crazy stance swap the headlights and grill cab lights mirrors um, maybe pull the front bumper off and repair the paint chips on it and then i'm also going to be 
sanding the frame with or wire brushing the frame maybe because if you look at the frame it's clean for most ohio trucks that are from 07 um because it hasn't been in ohio its whole life but this thing really should be wire brushed down while it's still easy to save and then give it a nice protective coating to try to keep it from getting too much worse because of course we want that in addition to that couple of things there i would not mind trying to repair this i'm gonna see if i can do it diy at home and if that does not work then of course take it to get professional help but what i'm thinking is if i take my grinding wheel with my bigger wheel i think i can open this passenger door up to get it away from the work area mask this all off around and then just slowly grind off the rust and then you know a little bit of filler mask it off of course paint clear you know prime paint clear i think for the most part i could fix this to look pretty dang gun unrecognizable but we will see out here with the old rosine 24v getting some photos here i'm actually on a pretty freaking steep bank right now it don't look that steep but it's uh but it's pretty steep i'm like i'm aiming like up towards the sky it's a railroad bed here pretty steep downhill behind me facing straight uphill he's trying to snag some photos and videos here in the old rosine I'm gonna miss this truck definitely gonna miss, I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss the memories of it and what people have to understand is the memories go with you if you have something you're wanting to do that may require you to let go of something that you used to hold so dearly to you like Reagan like she used to obsess over this truck and it just kind of seems like in the last two years you know it's just kind of become more and more in the back burner and it's simply because of the fact that she can't use it for the types of things that she's wanting to use it for now with the kids and the way that the truck is built and stuff like that and the practicality of it's just kind of just not really there anymore she still loves the truck she's gonna miss the truck for sure but you know the memories that she loves the truck for she's gonna keep with her. That's not gonna change. And we're just gonna create new memories with the new truck and hopefully she can get all the use out of it that she needs at the same time. Well, I'm about to pick up some lunch here, but I did buy some stuff for Reagan's new truck. I got some stuff for sanding and repainting the frame to give it a nice flat black new look. The objective is to maintain that look like we did with Rosine by keeping the truck clean. And also, I got some stuff to attempt to fix the rust on the rear passenger door as well. So I got a little bit of Bondo. I got a good, like, uh, it's like a paint and rust sanding wheel for my angle grinder. I got some paint. I got some primer. I got, I got some prepping stuff, some sanding stuff. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. I've never had to repair anything before in terms of rust. But I thought, let's give it a shot. This could be helpful for some of you guys out there to see if I do this and it turns out good. But the way that I looked at it, that was a hoarder, holy smokes. But anyways, what I was gonna say was, it's, it's a spot on the truck where like, even if it doesn't turn out perfect, it's not really going to change anything in terms, in a negative way on the truck. Like it's still gonna look better than it is because of the location of it. A good spot to try it out on. We got the wife's new truck here. We're gonna give it a start up here. And we're going to go into the topic of repairing some rust on this truck. She starts up nice. So we're gonna try to fix this little rust spot on the door of this truck. This truck is pretty stinking clean, literally like, Almost the entire truck is completely rush free other than this one spot. And this probably happened from like paint chipping off on the door, small ding, small damage that got down below the paint coats. But, but beneath the paint layers, it just started to heat up back to the actual metal. So what I'm gonna actually do is mask this all off. I've never repaired anything like this before, but I bought some stuff. I'm gonna give it a shot. And I figured this was a particular spot on the truck where, A, it's not super noticeable anyways, so if it doesn't look perfect, you know, big whoop, we'll just have to take it somewhere where it can get professionally done. 
which is the alternative anyway, so I figured why not give it a try. It's not original, whatever that is. Crap, I bought it out as own. Here's the current progress. You can look down the body line there, or the, the door. I mean, it's, it's freaking smooth. It doesn't feel uneven. I don't know if you can tell. You can see where the Bondo's recessed a little bit further down than the original paint and this little spot there that no further. This stuff's supposed to like add layers too though that you can then sand down a little bit further. So I don't know, we'll see after we do three or four coats. Well, I hate to say I ruined her truck on the first 24 hours of owning it, but <laughs> um, that's not exactly the same color at all. Dang it. I was looking for everything I could find at AutoZone. And this was the only one that was like a gray color. That was Chrysler. And when I held the cap up to the truck, it was really close. It might be it, but it might not. Be. I don't know. It looks a little dark, but maybe that's just because it's on a plastic cap on a bottle and not actually on the truck. And once you paint it, you can see the imperfections in the body filter. You know what I mean? Like when the body filler was the only thing on here right after I sanded it and there was no other like layers applied. I mean, it didn't look bad. I mean, it looked pretty, looks pretty good. And then once you apply some layers, you can see just the imperfections in that Bondo. Like when you get real close. Now, of course, from a distance, even just five feet away, you can't tell anything is wrong with the, the body work job, but Man, those, those guys that do this for a living, I'm telling you, my hat's off to you guys that can do body work exceptionally well and fast because I'll tell you what, my first attempt at it <laughs> did not go so well. And as mentioned before, this truck is probably going to have the front bumper repainted because of all the paint chips on it. And that spot was going to get fixed anyways. And I thought I'll just give it my best shot at attempting to do it to see if Maybe I can relieve her of that little eyesore on the truck for now. I honestly don't know if it looks any better or any worse. You don't have a big rust hole anymore because I ground out all the rust and then filled it and then painted it. But in the same sense, now you got a little patch that's a completely different color. Slightly disappointing. I ruined her truck literally on the first day of her owning it. Well, technically the second day, but less than 24 hours. I mean, yeah, the body filler is not perfect, but if it was at least the right color, which maybe we could just sand that down and redo it with the exact color if i can pull the color code and try to order something online even though i can't find the exact one locally maybe i might be able to order something it really wouldn't look bad i know the body works not perfect like when i get really really close i mean my my camera's you know two inches from the truck you can tell you know the body body work is not ideal but from even just a couple feet away, you would never know it. If it was a proper color, it would look great. It's pretty stinking smooth. Just a few small imperfections in the center of it. But if it was a proper color, it really wouldn't look that bad. Let me know down in the comments. Did I try to order the exact color code of paint, sand that area a little bit better and give it another shot or just say, give it up and take it to get that and the front bumper plastics redone professionally and don't even worry about it. Regardless of that, guys, I'm gonna put an end to this video. Although I did not get done as much as I was anticipating that I would be able to get done today, I was gonna actually wire brush and start painting the frame on that truck today just as some added content and one step along the journey with that thing closer towards being the way she wants it. You've only got a hair over 24 hours left to enter to win this truck and this version at the exact same time at lmpgear.com. 
And every $1 right now is gonna get you 30 entries towards winning. And if you check the emails that we send out, we've also got another bonus in there for you as well. We're doing limited daily bonuses where we're only running them for one day at a time. If you wanna use them, check your emails, use them up. It just gives you some additional perks towards entering for the trucks. And yes, when you place an order and you get 30X entries, let's say your order says you get 3,000 or 4,000 entries, it's not split between the two trucks. You actually get that many entries towards each one. So pretty cool. It's two drawings, two winners. You could either get drawn twice and end up winning both or two separate people could win. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for all the love and all the support. Don't forget the giveaway is ending on Sunday for these two to be entered at the same time. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.